So we are here in one of the polling centers where we have a member of parliament for Achim Swedru, and he's also the chairman of the Roads and Transport Committee. Honorable, how is it so far? And well, where are you currently stationed? Well, so far, so good. This is my polling station that I've been assigned to. This is the Confederate uh, uh, Cocoa Shed, and that is where I have been assigned to monitor what is happening. And so far, so good. Uh, there haven't been any uh, incidents here, so I mean, voting is ongoing. In the morning, you see a lot of people have massed up just to cast their vote so that they can go back to their work. But now, you see, there's uh, calm here. People are coming in just uh, uh, in a little number. So, so far, so good. I mean, that is the impression How that I. Your, like, MPP and DC, what's your chances of winning this? Well, uh, here, I confer, I confer is a. Uh, a stronghold of the MPP. Mm. I mean, uh, this particular polling stations, yeah. we, we we sometimes win with a huge margin, that eighty percent up to eighty percent. So you well, so <laughs> that is I know per the analysis I have done so far. I mean, and per the number of people who have cast their votes and all those things, I've done the analysis and. We are doing well. I mean, we will not, there will not be any complacency. We, we have a lot to go. The total voter population for this police station is 526. So we expect that at least, at least, we should get not less than 400 out of it, even more. So that is what we are Just working on. Just because you are the chairman of the Rules and Transport Committee, I can see an ongoing project right in front of me. Is it because of the by-election or it was something that was on board before this? Because you can see. I'm not sure this road started in two months ago. Mm. Uh, nobody can use two months to do drains, fill it, and start tiling it. It means the work had already started. Just coincident that they are working was the by-election. Uh, so I'm not sure. You know the processes they go through in terms of Road construction, you cannot but use two months. That as soon as the elections are over, the project stops. So like that in the case of Kumeu, it's never true. Mm. We, Kumeu, we got the feedback from the resident, it's never true. Does it mean that after this, if it ceases, the MPP will never go for an election? They will not field any candidate here. That's the impression that we have. So, if MPP will come again in 2024, why would they abandon it? So, it is just a propaganda from the the NDC side just to uh, sway the voters' attention from voting for them. But uh, the fact of the matter is that this project has started long ago before uh, the EC opened for the by-election here. So I'm not sure uh, this project will be halted. It will still go on. There are several of these projects that are currently ongoing. And it tells you the difficulty that we all the time we have been saying, or I mean, I had with that, the former member of parliament for Kwesin uh, should have been the one leading for this project. They said you, um, they, they alleged that you guys have held on to the common fund. Which, which common fund? I, I don't have any common. It's the same thing. Release. Nobody has perfectly released. No government has been able to release common fund. Can common fund construct road? Even if they give they give all the four-year common fund to you. You can construct it. So if, if they, they make that kind of argument that government has... This is a central government project. Okay? This is a central government project. And a, a central government project, you have to go and lobby. It does not come automatically. Because the resources are too... They are, it's limited. So you have to lobby to get portion of it to come and develop your area. Here is the case that he, the candidate himself, he, the former MP, Jesse Kwesin, because of how he got himself into parliament, he hasn't been able to even sit down to even be speaking to, not even concerned to the various ministries to get support for the council. Every day he's in court fighting to justify why he did that. Mm -hmm.